about to leave already packing come with me i'm not hello friends and enemies welcome back to happy for now it's the final video for this little mini tube video series i'm doing uh which is this one is the series i finished and abandoned oh no so obviously uh, i'll give you as much detail as i can on these um and I'll let you know why I abandoned them. I'm also counting series that don't have an actual next book set out as a release date as finished, um, which we'll get to in a minute. So first up, we have the Bare Knuckle Bastards series by Sarah McLean. I have read all of those. I loved them deeply. Just so good. So, so good. Um, if you are looking for uh, feminist forward historicals with strong female characters and some real uh, real alpha asshole dudes, kind of, these could be it for you. You may not love the first book, uh, the Wallflower, the, the first book in the series, but I do think it's worth giving Hattie a try because I personally at least, that's my favorite, and then Grace and Ewan, the third book, are my next fave. Then we of course have Uptown Girls by Joanna Shoup with it, which I have read all of and absolutely adored. Um, I think the series is just so fun and it's so nice to like be in not Regency England in a historical and I think that there's a lot of enjoyment uh, in my opinion with watching these three sisters wreak havoc on New York. They're kind of loosely based on the Schuyler sisters uh, not completely, obviously, but just kind of like that idea of like three sisters getting up to no good, kind of up to no good. Uh, and I just, I really, really love them. I think The Rogue of Fifth Avenue is a great entry point into the series. And then I think that when you get to book two, which, uh, is The Devil of Downtown, no, The Prince of Broadway, it's just incredible. And then obviously book three, The Devil of Downtown is also mind-bogglingly good. Oh, I, this order is off. So anyways, I've also read all of the Scandal and Scoundrel series by Sarah McLean. These are based off of like modern day gossip magazines, but if you put them in Regency times, and I really, really love these. I love the sisters it follows. I love the setups. You can see a reflection of today's society and things that we do as a society in these books. And I just love them. And then the third book, Day of the Duchess, is one of my all time favorites. Um, it has, it's a hard book. Uh, let me put it this way, it, content warning for a miscarriage and thoughts of being worthless due to this miscarriage, but it's all about him trying to get her to fall back in love with him and come back to him because he loves her so much and he does not care that she had a miscarriage and that like she possibly can have children, like he does not care about that and it's just gut-wrenching and amazing and the underground ballroom, that's all I have to say. Uh, again, I know it's not everyone's favorite, and I know a lot of people don't like it. It's a very divisive book, but for me, I think a lot of the the pregnancy stuff in it really resonated in a way I didn't expect necessarily as someone who doesn't want children. Uh, I've also read all of The Wallflowers by Lisa Kleypas. This series follows these girls who are wallflowers, and they take a book to focus on one of them and find them a love match. And they're pretty cute. I, I hate St. Vincent. And I continue to hate St. Vincent. I don't understand why people love him. What he does and threatens is not okay. And I don't think he's redeemed in his book in any capacity. So I just, um, yeah. But I really, really liked the last book in the series, which I think is the spring one. Um, and I liked most of the heroines overall. I think they're very strong characters. They were very likable, like, and varied in their personalities. But yeah, I... Mm. Yeah, that series almost turned me off of Lisa Claypus, I'm not gonna lie to you. Then we have The Immortals After Dark, which I have read and am currently rereading and absolutely adore. Uh, I'm calling this finished because we have no idea when Monroe is actually going to hit shelves. Uh, I wish we did. I really wish we did. I wish we knew. But, you know, for now, we don't know and that's okay. We will be surprised one day uh, by it. Then we have the Ice Planet Barbarians, which I am also caught up on. I recently read the last book in that series that has come out so far. And I just, I really love the series. I think that they're a great escape read if you are looking for that. They also feature a lot of um, 
really interesting female characters. There's a lot going on in this series. They crash land on a planet that's not Hoth, and they uh, basically get rescued by these giant blue alien men. And the first book is really intense and a lot, but if you kind of like it, I think trying book two is worth it if you're interested, because they definitely get more comedic and less dark and sad and serious in tone the further into the series you get. I mean, there's still serious moments, so you're not gonna be wrong, but that first book is very trauma laden, obviously, because like they crash land on this planet, they've been kidnapped by aliens, they've been raped, you know, all kinds of things have been done to them that are just awful. Then we have the London Celebrity series by Lucy Parker. If you haven't read this series and you love Grumpy Sunshine and you love like a pseudo like celebrity but not like celebrity book, I think these are great because you're following people who for the most part are in the Broadway scene in London in the West End and uh, they are varying levels of fame and different things. And they're just really really fun i blew through the first like three books in the series and no joke a weekend without any problem and loved them and then now i finished them and i'm a little bit sad i'm done and i cannot wait for lucy parker's next book uh one of the other ones is stage dive by kylie scott i read this year this is a new adult e rock and roll romance uh, i read through the whole series because i wanted to read the basis story um i'm on a never-ending quest to find bass playing heroes that are good and that I like and not shitty. So I read that and I really enjoyed this series for the most part. I mean they're like all solid three, three and a half. Very marathonable stories. They're not like the most complicated or the most complex nor are they like the most incredible things you'll ever read but I really really like them and I've enjoyed them immensely. I've read all of the Forbidden Hearts series by Alicia Rye which are my favorites. <laughs> um, if you haven't read these yet by Alicia Rye, I think you really should. The first book is a friends who meet up yearly to hook up situation. Like they're like kind of enemies, but they hook up once a year and there's all this reasoning why they shouldn't be together. Each one is very like a taboo forbidden in the best way, the best way. Oh my God. And the last book, I, oh, I just love this series. I think Alicia Rye's writing in this shines. If you've only read her new stuff, honestly, you need to go back and read these. Also, we have uh, Reluctant Royals by Alyssa Cole, which I've finished all of, and I adore these. I've read every novella. I've read it all, and I think that these are one of those romances that I recommend as an entry point for a lot of people for a reason, because they're so good. They're very different. They're very unique. You've got a lot of different kinds of love in these. You've got a sapphic novella. You've got uh, our novella with Reggie, who's in a wheelchair sometimes, is disabled, and like, it's just so good. Um... I have a video in which we will be discussing the next one of those books <laughs> because of something it did for me that was immensely important and like felt so so good uh then we also have destiny's captive destiny's captive the destiny's series by beverly jenkins which i finished which follows three brothers the third book is my favorite which is destiny's captive that has a lady pirate amazing all of these are amazing. Miss Bev does no wrong. I've also read of all of the Old West trilogy by Miss Bev. Again, can do no wrong. I, that is honestly another entry point that I recommend to a lot of people. It's very engaging, very fun. And then we have a non-romance series that I know I finished, which is Wayward Children by Shauna McGuire. I am currently caught up on these. I read the new one every January when it comes out. I love this series. I think they're such a great portal fantasy. If you haven't read these yet, I recommend either picking up the one that just came out, which is Beyond the Green Grass Fields, or Every Harder Doorway, which is the first book. You have to read them not, you don't have to read them in order, but you, for some of the first ones, you need to read that first book, and then you could just dive in from this newest one. All right, and then how about the series I've abandoned? Maybe you'll convince me to pick them back up. I don't know. I just personally am done with them, I think. First up is Mercy Thompson by Patricia Briggs. Um, I've read a couple of these. I personally just am not comfortable with the Native American situation in these books and them being written by a white woman uh, from what it seems. I've seen some critiques on that part and I just decided after a while that I was done. Um, I also heard some things about where the story goes and I said, I think I'm good. So maybe I'm missing out, I don't know. I just, I can only read so many urban fantasy paranormals at the end of the day. Uh, I've abandoned The Bridgertons by Julia Quinn. 
personally, I hated book one. Um, I still haven't even watched the show, y'all. <laughs> and I didn't hate book two as much. And I thought I would continue, but I just kind of don't care. Like, honestly, I don't care. I, I don't care. Like, that's, that's the honest truth. Um, then we have The Dark Hunters <laughs> by Sherilyn Kenyon. I have read through a lot of these. Uh, I think I'm through like book nine or 10. I'm going to pick up Atron at some point, which is like book 14. And then I'm just done. Like I don't, I don't want to read a 20 some book series in this world anymore. I'm tired of it. I've been reading it since like 2009. I'm good. Uh, I've also abandoned Black Dagger Brotherhood because I have found those books to be the same over and over. And then there's such a big series and everyone's v reviews on the later books are not great so I just don't even know where to stop I don't even know if it's worth the journey or not uh, I also abandoned Anita Blake by Laurel K Hamilton I got through quite a few of these I, I really went on a marathon um, and I think that they are enjoyable eight I got through book eight <laughs> uh, and then I just stopped because though enjoyable they got really real really really repetitive the sex in them wasn't good necessarily they just got kind of boring um and I just like I was here for more than that and I just I don't know not it um then I also abandoned women of the other world by Kelly Armstrong this is the book uh when I talk about pancake sex this is the book series that has pancake sex they literally eat pancakes while boning um, this is an interesting werewolf pack situation. I didn't hate it, didn't love it, um, not enough to continue and read like 10 plus books. And then The Fever series by Karen Marie Moaning. I love the first five books in this series. I read it through to the end and then she continued the series and I just, I don't know, maybe one day I'll pick it back up but for now it's not that day and it's not happening. Let's close this out. All right, I'm sure I missed some series, so next year's list will be even bigger, but uh, I've got a start on this list at least, which is really exciting. So drop a star emoji for me if you made it this far in the video because I feel pretty good about my finished series list, okay? Like, I was a little nervous, like, oh no, is it like, do I not have that many? But I actually have more than I thought. <laughs> more than I thought so far so that is a nice feeling let me know if you think I should pick up any of these and actually finish them the ones I abandoned or one of your series that you finished recently in the last year uh, I will be back in a few days with my next video you can find links to all these books in the description box down below you can also find links on everywhere to find me on social media down there and if you want to join the romance youtuber discord click that button and come chat with us I'll see y'all soon bye really asking, we'll get away to a place where we don't